Want to know why? Ask how. Howard the Humongous. I've got a surprise for you. There is a new green deal, and it's hanging just over our heads. It's called space. Yes, space is the green new deal. What the hell do I mean? The resources of space can end global warming. And the resources of space can save the planet. They can save nature. Solar power harvested in space can stop man-made carbon emissions completely. Space solar power is close to infinite and can end the use of coal, oil, and natural gas forever. It can radically decrease the greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Space solar power is transmitted to Earth by the sort of harmless microwaves used by your cell phone. It's received by big grids of wires called rectennas. And the energy beam to a rectenna from space is so benign that you can graze animals and grow crops beneath the receiving grid. In fact, we've been harvesting solar power in space and transmitting it to Earth since 1962 when the first communications satellite, Telstar, went into orbit. Telstar looked like a beach ball encrusted with medallions, but each medallion was a gatherer of solar power. It was a photovoltaic cell. Then there are asteroids. The resources of asteroids can make Earth mining for raw materials obsolete. It can end the practice of blowing the tops off of mountains in Tennessee and undermining the Earth's surface in Arizona and Michigan to get at iron, nickel, lithium, platinum, and rare Earth minerals. The resources of just one mid-sized asteroid can be worth a trillion dollars, more than the gross domestic product of Holland or Switzerland. What's more, Jeff Bezos, founder of Amazon.com, is working to make space the new industrial zone, putting all the polluting operations of humanity into orbit and zoning the Earth as a green paradise, a territory for plants, animals, and people to rejoice in their diversity, to rejoice in their synergy, to rejoice in their greenness. And Elon Musk, founder of SpaceX and head of Tesla, is working to make a ticket to space so inexpensive that a trip to Mars is affordable for every middle-class family. I worked on space solar power for four years with India's 11th president, Dr. APJ Kalam. Dr. Kalam was the most trusted politician in India and a superstar all over Asia. Said Dr. Kalam, space solar power can lift two billion of Earth's poorest people out of their poverty. Yes, two billion people out of poverty. But Kalam felt that space solar power could benefit all 7.5 billion of us. Said Dr. Kalam, quote, Humanity needs a great vision to forget all its conflicts and move towards a common goal of peace and prosperity. In fact, said Dr. Kalam, solar power harvested in space can bring, quote, a new era of peace, prosperity, and abundance for all mankind. What's the bottom line? Take the load off Earth. Tap the resources of space. Use space to save nature. Use the resources of space to preserve the planet. Help nature do what nature does best, turning hells into heavens and raw rock into food for gardens of Eden. Take ecosystems to space, garden the solar system, and green the galaxy. Bring space to life by bringing life to space. Why? Because space is the Green New Deal. This is Howard the Humongous, speaking to you from the future. It's your job and my job to make. Or, want to know why? <laughs> Ask how? And now for that stupid, sybaritic, little sleazy slothful off button.